Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, I'm just going to make this very quick review video uh, about this pen. It's the the uh, Platinum Carbon Ink Pen. This has just been recommended to me and I thought I'd try it out. Um, so I had a look on Amazon. Um, I was quite pleased at the, the price of it. It was only $13.99. So I thought, well, let's let's buy one and let's let's just see if it's any good. Now the reason I bought this was because I wanted a waterproof ink, but in a fountain pen. Um, the Caveco Sport that I use just takes standard ink cartridges which aren't waterproof, so basically that means I can't do an ink drawing and then wash over it with watercolour because it's all going to smudge into the, you know, and blend into the water. So what I've been doing is using rotoring rapidographs. Um, you know, they're totally waterproof, I can get varying line widths with them, constant ink flow, great pens never had any problems with them in fact they're my go-to pens they're my favorite pens um, and I thought well this sounds interesting because I really like fountain pens you know and dip pens as well um, and my little Caveco Sport has been a great little workhorse pen for me over the last couple of years I really like using that pen but like I say it's not not a waterproof pen I'll just let me just bring it in for you as well it's um, it just takes you know standard ink cartridges, well the small ink cartridges, and like I say, they're not waterproof, so it's always been a bit of a bugbear. Now the platinum um, carbon ink pen, as the name suggests, takes carbon ink, um, which as you know is is waterproof. So you know that's it's quite quite unusual to to get a fountain pen that actually uh, takes waterproof ink. They are out they are out there. They're not that rare, but um, I haven't got any and this is the first one that I've actually owned um, now you've got a choice with this as well you can actually use the ink cartridges and incidentally this does come with an ink cartridge when you buy it new um, so you can buy ink cartridges or you can buy the converter and use you know whatever ink you like in it the same can be said for the Caveco Sport as well. You can buy the cartridges or you can buy a little converter and use whatever ink you like in it. But uh, the feed section on these are a lot smaller, you know, on regular fountain pens than they are on the carbon ink pen. The carbon ink pen's got a much wider feed to allow, you know, the thicker carbon ink to flow through. If you put carbon ink in one of these things, chances are you're going to ruin it. Same with any fountain pen, any regular fountain pen. So the carbon ink pen sounded like a really good idea. So I bought one thinking, would I be actually gaining anything um, by using this over the rotoring rapidographs? Apart from the fact, you know, it's got a fountain pen nib. Let me just take the top off. I keep putting the top back on that. Apart from the fact, you know, it's got that lovely, let me hold that close, that lovely nib in there feels like a fountain pen well it's a fountain pen isn't it um, but it's got that feel to it whereas you know when you're using the rotorings you know you're using the technical pen you know you've got that very fine almost scratchy well they are very scratchy and the finer nibs but you've got that very scratchy uh, nib on there um, but you do get super fine lines with these and like I say really nice constant ink flow as well so it's going to be hard for me to find a pen which actually beats the rapidographs or the isographs so i was in two minds whether to actually bother with the platinum ink pen or not but i'm actually glad i did because it's a very reliable pen um again the ink flow on this has been faultless it's been absolutely constant no blocking no funny business that you often get with fountain pens. I've only done a little bit of sketching with it since I've had it. I've not really done a full-on massive drawing with it or anything. Just a few little doodles, a few little sketches, but everything so far is pointing to this being a really nice pen. And like I say, for £13.99, you can't go wrong. It, you know, a waterproof pen, waterproof ink. Um, I think it's you know, a, a really nice pen for your collection, this one. Now the looks of it, um, when it's got the cap on, to me, I don't know about you, but to me that says drawing pen. It looks like a drawing pen. But as soon as that cap comes off, it looks like 
a very posh fountain pen or desk pen and in fact it is actually called a desk pen because you do actually um, well you can actually get an optional desk stand for it little platform with the pen holder on it what you just drop the pen in um, on your desk I won't bother with anything like that I don't use things like that that's mainly for people that have a writing desk set up um, you know I mainly use pens for drawing um, and that sort of thing but the looks of it I think are absolutely lovely really you know the shape of it reminds me of you know an old vintage dip pen you know that long tapered uh, back section there um, so yeah I mean I think aesthetically you know it's a very nice looking pen but I can't work this cap out it's well for a start it's made from a different type of plastic to this this is all plastic by the way but this is a nice quality plastic very nice smooth hard um, not a cheap plastic it's a nice plastic you know as far as plastics go but this one is that really cheap soft nasty plastic that <laughs> you put it on there and you think that's the wrong top for the pen it just doesn't look right um, but like I say you know when you look at it like that for some strange reason it looks more like a drawing pen than a posh desk pen um, so I'm in two minds about this cap can't, I can't make up my mind whether I like it or not I think I would have preferred to have seen um, a better fitting cap because that just wedges on it doesn't click on it doesn't screw on it just wedges on and obviously you're not going to post it because it's way too loose so it's kind of I feel it's kind of a bit of a mismatch really for the pen um, although in some strange way I, I kind of like it um, you know it's very practical with that hexagonal section on it there you know it's not going to roll off your desk or anything so you know it's certainly got its uses now the nibs that come with these um, are extra fine I think that's all you can get with these pens extra fine I'm not sure if you can get a medium I haven't seen any um, maybe you can I'm not sure but anyway this is the extra fine and what we'll do now just make a bit of space we'll do a few um, little samples with it just bring my sketchbook in Now just pressing with normal pressure that's the kind of line width that you're going to get this isn't a flex nib by the way although if you do press a little bit harder you can get a slightly wider line but ideally you wouldn't want to press that hard you do have to press fairly hard with that to uh, you know achieve just a slightly wider line so it's not really worth doing now my first disappointment with this pen if I compare this to the Caveco is the back edge if I turn the nib on the back edge the line width doesn't really vary that much if I just show you what I mean with the Caveco Sport um, there's a standard line of the Caveco Sport and if I turn that over on the back edge I can get lovely thin hairlines and I love having that option but what I don't like about the Caveco Sport is the fact that it isn't waterproof so again you know it's it's a trade-off isn't it between these two uh, pens you know which one would you prefer waterproof or not waterproof thick line or thin line now the Caveco Sport is exactly the same size nib it, again it's an extra fine so these are both extra fine nibs and if we just compare them side by side I can't really see any difference in line width there at all but if you're looking for a really super fine line I go for the uh, the rotary rapidograph 0.10 you know, if I put that line on there you can see straight away but that's a really super fine line so if I get the point 30 that's the one that more or less matches 
the line width of the Caveco and the Platinum. I think this might be just a touch finer, so I'd probably say that the, the Caveco and the Platinum are more like a 0.35 or a 0.40, something along those lines. Now if we do a smudge test with this, that did smudge very quickly, so if we just leave it to dry just for a couple of seconds, smudge just a little bit, if we leave it a bit longer and we go to the Caveco, do a smudge test, that smudges as well. We'll leave that a bit longer. I'll just come back to this one um, that's dried for a minute or two. No smudging, so it dries pretty quick actually. And so does the Caveco. Now I get the impression that this pen would make a really good everyday writer. Um, like I say, for a drawing pen, yes, it's very good and it's waterproof. But the fact that I can't get any super fine hairlines with it on the back edge. It's not disappointing, but I, you know, I would have preferred to have had that with it. But like I say, I'm more than happy to have this purely for the fact that it's waterproof and um, you know, I'll be able to use that alongside my watercolors. Now, when you buy it, it just comes in a blister pack like this and you get, you know, one spare ink cartridge in there. Now, incidentally, you can get, like I mentioned earlier, um, the converter for it. And you can buy, obviously, the spare refills for these. Best to go for the platinum ones. I think that's, I'm not sure, don't quote me on this. I think they, they might be the only ones that, that fit this pen. I don't know if these are standard um, ink cartridges or not. But I'll be sticking to buying the, the platinum carbon ink um, cartridges for the pen anyway. And as you can see there, look, it says um, extra fine. Um, now my Japanese isn't very good, but I'll try and see if I can read some of this for you. So I think that says Smoothie 77, like, share and subscribe, I think. Um, Smoothie 77, best art channel on YouTube, I think that says. Oh, Smoothie 77, yeah, I know him, I know that guy, yeah. No, I don't think much to him, to be honest. And it says something, what's that? Also on Patreon, I think that says only £3.50 a month. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, for over 700 instructional art videos. Well, that's not bad. But it's like I say, my Japanese isn't very good, so uh, I might have got that wrong. Um, but anyway, that's the packet that it comes in. And that's really just a brief overview um, of the new... Platinum carbon ink pen. Forgot to mention as well, you can actually buy carbon ink in bottles as well. So if you get the converter, you know, you're good to go, aren't you? You can use the, the platinum carbon ink. I think there's a variety of carbon inks out there. Um, and also, like I said, this is very, very constant. You know, it, it writes really well. It's got a nice ink flow. It's a little bit scratchy on the nib. You can kind of hear that, can't you? But you can see, look, that this is not kind of skipping or... You know, stopping or anything. It's, um... You know, it's it's really constant. It's, it's a lovely pen to actually use. And I think for £13.99 you can't go wrong. So I would certainly highly recommend that, but if varying line widths are a bit of an issue for you, um, you're probably best to go for rotary rapidographs, isographs, that kind of thing. But like I say, if you just love the feel of fountain pens um, for drawing and you want something that's waterproof, I don't think you could go wrong with one of these. I think they're really lovely. So I'll be using these um, a lot more for my pen and wash work. Um, and the cap, love it or hate it, it does serve a purpose. 
and it does really change the aesthetics of the pen um, but I like it so there we go that's the um, platinum carbon pen so I hope you like that review um, please give a thumbs up if you did and if you want to see more ink pen reviews leave a comment below and I'll do a review on these and some of the other pens I've got if you're interested okay so thanks very much for watching everybody take care and I'll see you in the next one bye for now